Hello everybody. Welcome to another video on Sitefor. I am Surendra Sharma. In the world of digital content management, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the vast array of, of options available. Uh, one option that may not immediately come to mind is the use of secondary CMS. So today we are going to see when it's appropriate to consider a secondary CMS as a solution for your content needs, as well as uh, we will also see the benefits and the uh, implementation. So before we dive into the reason to consider a secondary CMS, uh, it's important to understand what a secondary CMS is. So essentially, a secondary CMS is an additional system that work in conjunction with your existing uh, primary CMS to help and to manage the specific areas of your website. Uh, this can be useful solution in situations where your primary CMS is unable to handle the certain uh, task here. Now, when to consider the secondary CMS? So, a uh, content management system is a is a critical component of any websites, uh, which allowing businesses to manage their online presence with ease. Uh, however, there are times when it when a primary CMS may not be the best fit for an organization. So, in these cases, a secondary CMS can provide a more tailored solution. The scenario when when a secondary CMS may be a good fit for your uh, solution here. So the first point is uh, when you think that, yeah, I required to uh, manage my localized content at that time, you can consider it. So if your business has a global presence and needs to create content for different reasons, a secondary CMS can uh, help and to manage a localized content. Uh, this can include different languages, uh, culture, and uh, the other region specific content. Uh, if your business has a lot of digital uh, assets uh, that we need to manage, a secondary CMS can help uh, to keep them organized and easy to use. Uh, you can consider here a DAN solution as well. Uh, marketing automation. So if you need to manage and distribute marketing campaigns across multiple channels, a secondary CMS can provide additional functionality that your primary CMS may not uh, offer right now. Mobile application content management. Uh, if you have a mobile apps, a secondary CMS can be used to manage the content that appears within the app. Uh, E-commerce management. So if your business uh, operates an e-commerce stores, a secondary CMS can provide an additional functionality to manage your products, uh, their orders and customer data. Now, what's the benefit that you will get it here? So the benefit of uh, using a uh, secondary CMS includes uh, it will, it's going to provide you more tailored solution for specific need. It means uh, uh, secondary CMS can provide a more tailored solution for specific task that your primary CMS may not be able to handle. Uh, improved efficiency. So uh, here, uh, by using a secondary CMS, you can increase your efficiency and save time by automating certain tasks improved user experience so a secondary cms can improve the overall uh, the user experience of your website by making it easier to manage the specific content uh, here now the next question is uh, how to choose the secondary cms so when choosing a secondary cms it's important to consider the the uh, different uh, requirement and uh, the the available features there so one of the uh, reason to choose the correct secondary CMS is the compatibility with your primary CMS. So make sure the secondary CMS is compatible with the primary CMS. So generally, that's why you have to uh, purchase or you have to go for the uh, secondary CMS from the same family product. Uh, functionality. So consider the feature and functionality of the secondary CMS to make sure it, it meets your needs. Uh, ease of use, uh, you have to choose a secondary CMS that is uh, user friendly and easy to use. Integration, uh, you have to consider how the secondary CMS will integrate with your existing technological stack. Now, how to implement it? So when implementing a secondary CMS, uh, you have to uh, keep it in mind some uh, important and some best practices. So it include uh, hiring the uh, talent. So if you, if you're 
uh, if you don't have a time and if your existing resources don't have any uh, overview of uh, the new or the secondary CMA, then you can hire the new talent who already know uh, who, or who already have the experience of this secondary CMS. Uh, proper training, ensure that uh, your team is properly trained to use the secondary CMS. Uh, data migration. Make sure you uh, to migrate all relevant data to the secondary CMS. And ongoing maintenance. Maintain the secondary CMS and keep it up to date with the latest updates and security patches. So in this case, uh, if you go for the SaaS based product, then it will be uh, more beneficial because you don't need to uh, manage it. So uh, in conclusion, uh, secondary CMS can provide a tailored solution for a specific needs that your primary CMS may not be able to handle. Uh, be careful in choosing the right secondary CMS. Uh, you can improve your efficiency and provide a better user experience for your website visitor. Uh, Sitecore offers a size based CMS Content Hub 1, which is a good fit uh, as a secondary CMS. So for example, if your client uses uh, a site for XM or XP as the primary CMS with uh, extensive integration and customization and may even run it as an on-premises solution. Now they are interested in using a lightweight SaaS-based CMS for mobile app and marketing activity. So instead of going through the uh, time-consuming and resource-intensive and costly process of upgrading the, uh, the site core, which is running on the on-premises, uh, it would be wise to consider a secondary CMS option such as Content Hub 1. Uh, generally try to, uh, uh, and it's always uh, recommended that you should choose a single family uh, CMS product for your technological stack, as uh, this is usually result in better compatibility and ease of use. So that's it for this week. Thank you.